work. Oh, I mean, they, don't, they know. You ain't grabbing no material. I'm Charles Randolph, uh, owner of Homeland K9 International. Uh, we breed, train, and uh, sell police service dogs, uh, personal protection dogs, and, and young adults. Uh, part of uh, what we do is we have an integral part in the process we put together between uh, owner and K9. And, and we feel that uh, the right fit is, is required in order to create a a great K-9 team, whether you're talking family protection or law enforcement or military working dog. It all has to have a seamless uh, fit. And we do that by uh, our testing models. Uh, integral part of uh, our whole plan and process is to be able to read dogs, uh, focus on what we need to focus on. It gives us a, a advantage over our competitors. You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's like telling them, okay, I want you to run into that building. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. What's in there? Be right in there with that Gatorade. That's my Gatorade, too. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> so you have to, like a fireman, has to have confidence, right? He, he, he is purposely going into a danger zone. You see what I'm saying? So when you do that as a protection dog, if you have to use it, it's purposely going into a situation where it knows it could get hurt. You understand? So in order to have the confidence to do that, that, that takes some uh, fortitude to know that this guy means to hurt us. But I have to do what I have to do to protect the little ones. You know what I'm saying? And that starts right here, like that age right there, what he do? That's 25 years we've developed a, a process of uh, training and uh, procuring dogs and even our breeding process that we call organized chaos. And that's the, for the ability of the dog and handler to be able to focus and control what they can control in an uncontrollable world. So it's unique to us. It's, it's uh, something we've developed uh, over the years through tried and true presence. And it works for us and our, and our competitors. They, they lack this ability, we think at times, to put the right dogs in the right situation, and that's what we try to do. So what we do basically is we start environmentally strong. Uh, we have an environmental program that we start with puppies all the way up. Uh, we do it in a seamless way that the dog only knows one way, and it's, it grows up in our program and in our process, and it, it helps us develop a stronger dog we feel like in the end. As far as the, our training goes, it's, it's state of the art. We, we work on that cutting edge and we try to keep it as real as possible. Uh, it takes a lot of physical endurance and mental endurance to be able to do what we try to do. Uh, we try to bring the, the realism right to your front door. Uh, it's hard to prepare for everything that you may encounter in the world, but the thing is we have to do our part to get you and your canine ready for that. And we do that. We, we spend maybe uh, 30 to 40 percent of the time with the dogs. The other 60 to 70 percent is training with the handler. The handler has to be able to put the dog in a position to be successful. If it doesn't know how to do that, then we're not working together as a team, and that's part of our focus. Somebody being able to run your dog off, all it takes is a split second for that dog to pause, stop, think about it, decide. If it pauses, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Just give me just enough time, the bad guy just enough time. That's all it takes. And then, bang, we got a problem. Well, part of our job is to test and procure dogs, and even in our breeding program, uh, we have to select the dog for the right purpose and put it in the right situation. Uh, that's, that's the number one. That's the first step, is putting the right dog with the right, in the right situation with the right habit. And this is all done through our process of our, our testing models between handler and, and canine. So it's part of what we do. You have to have the dog in the right position to be successful. And if you don't, then, then 
problems arise every day. like to uh, get to know our clients a lot, uh, whether it be uh, personal, uh, law enforcement, or military. We, we need to know exactly uh, how the dog is to be used and then how exactly that personality of that particular handler is going to be. We have to have a good teamwork. Uh, too much is, is not good enough or too little is not good enough. So we have to have the right seamless fit that fit is what keeps us over the top because a good working team, if they don't work well together, they won't be successful on the job. So one of the things they, everybody wants to know is, can my dog perform as a protection dog or dual service police canine. Uh, one of the things you have to have is gen your dog has to have genetical drive uh, and it's it's harder for people who um, don't know when to do this in their breeding programs. Uh, we, we're talking about our breeding programs, you're talking 100, 200 years uh, of evolution of a dog actually going out to do these type of things. Uh, we look for hunt drive, we have to have you know, the nice balanced pre-drive with some civil aggression. But everything has to stay balanced. Uh, a balanced dog works well together, too far on one end or the other, and we'll have problems. So one of the things we do, like I say, is even in our own breeding programs, we strive for balance. If you bring a canine to us for training, it's going to be the same exact concept. When we go to train and, and do the uh, initial evaluations of the dog, we're going to be looking for balance. Is the dog genetically disposed to do this kind of work? Uh, does it have enough prey drive? Does it have enough hunt drive? Uh, you know, how is this environmental? All of these things come into play all seamlessly together. If one is out of whack, then the whole program is off. The dog won't be able to function and do the job that you're asking it to do. And that's kind of what we do. So again, I, we understand that there's a lot of great trainers out there, but we only we do what we feel like works and works for us, and we've been doing it for 25 years, and we're still trying to learn and get better and better. One thing about it is uh, nobody's going to outwork us. Uh, we'll continue to work for you. Uh, once you bind the dog from us or bind the puppy or have our, train, our training staff work with you, that's not the end, that's just the beginning. Uh, we'll, we have an HK9 family and once you do the business with us, you're family for life. Thank you for taking your time out to watch this. Uh, if there's any questions for us or, or anything you have, Feel free to contact us. Uh, I have no problem uh, talking to you about it. Uh, appreciate everything in advance. Thank you.